Africans in that region. All right, so away from uh, matters education, and we're going to some politics. And after IEBC declared Uhuru Kenyatta the winner of the repeat presidential election yesterday, all eyes are now on the opposition leader, Raila Odinga. Raila is today expected to announce his next move after a NASA parliamentary group meeting this morning. Let me now bring in my colleague, Chris Thairu, who's uh, going to be giving us an update on um, this announcement. Well, Chris, all eyes really and ears today are on Raila Odinga, just to hear what really di the direction is going to be giving uh, his supporters uh, with regard uh, to that declaration that was made yesterday uh, for Uhuru Kenyatta as the president-elect. Do we know really where this particular announcement will be leaning? And also you can just talk to us about that parliamentary group meeting that is currently ongoing. Well, a very good morning to you, Betty. Well, ke all Kenyans are, are waiting for this big announcement, as it was said by uh, the NASA leader, Raila Odinga, uh, just uh, waiting to hear what he will be giving his supporters his next course of uh, action or his next, uh, his next move after yesterday's uh, declaration of uh, President-elect Uhuru Kenyatta. And uh, currently, uh, the, the NASA parliamentary leaders are meeting uh, just to forge uh, or just to put their heads together so that they can know their next course of action. Yesterday they were to uh, make that major uh, grand uh, announcement but they postponed it to today at 10 a.m. at the Wiper headquarters that is at Lavington and uh, the sole purpose of uh, postponing was just to uh, try and uh, figure out their next course of action and uh, try to bring along uh, their, uh, their legal uh, uh, minds and uh, uh, try to see the, how they will be uh, telling or what they will be telling their supporters uh, in line with the Constitution. And Betty here, they have uh, three options. Uh, one of the options uh, is uh, to go to the Supreme Court and file a petition against uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta's or President-elect Uhuru Kenyatta's uh, a declaration and uh, uh, argue that uh, the process that was conducted by the IEBC, uh, they didn't see a free and fair and credible uh, process uh, from the beginning, and that's why they withdrew from the process. Uh, secondly, they can decide to go the picketing and demonstration, uh, what they have been doing. Remember that uh, uh, just uh, weeks before the repeat of the presidential polls, uh, we saw uh, demonstrations in uh, parts of the country, and uh, that might be one of their uh, options uh, to take. And uh, maybe thirdly, might to wait, might be to wait and see uh, uh, on wait uh, for the president-elect to be sworn in uh, so that they can uh, have a dialogue. Remember that uh, yesterday President Uru Kenyatta indicated that uh, for him uh, he knows that there is a constitutional uh, way that uh, is supposed to be followed and he will wait until uh, the opposition exhausts all avenues or exhaust all avenues that they have in their hands uh, before they sit on a round table and of course uh, that means that uh, it's after uh, his swearing in that uh, they can agree and sit on a round table and know how they will be uh, pushing this country forward. Remember that uh, uh, Raila Odinga also has a, a good uh, number of support in different parts of the country. You can just uh, uh, swear away his uh, 6.4 million uh, uh, votes that he got uh, in the 8th of August, uh, Betty. All right. Uh, uh Chris, do we know or have we had any sentiments of leaders uh, with regard to elections not being held in the four counties? Well, we've not had, uh, what they've been saying is that uh, they are not ready for that repeat of the uh, election in those uh, four counties. Uh, that is 25 constituencies, uh, but mainly uh, from uh, Siaya, Migori, Homa Bay, and Kisumu counties. But for them, they are focusing on an election uh, within 90 days. Uh, but how and uh, how they try, uh, how they intend to actualize these uh, is what uh, we uh, will be uh, waiting to see how how they will be uh, trying to manage an election within uh, 90 days. But of course, uh, that, uh, if at all that is to be achieved, uh, it in, uh, of course, uh, it will depend on the political goodwill between the two leaders, that is uh, the president-elect Uru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga on the other hand, Betty. All right, now, Chris, we've also had sentiments uh, that uh, you know this election of the 26th was actually more fraudulently done than the August 8th poll. Why do we have such sentiments? What are they basing these sentiments on? Um, you know, these statements coming in from leaders of the uh, opposition. 
Well, remember, Betty, before the repeat of the presidential polls, that is on the 26th, yes. uh, uh, the chairman of the IEBC, that is Wafula Chebukati, sent mixed signals uh, to both uh, players, that is, or the, or the candidates, uh, uh, so to speak, and Kenyans at large. And uh, for him, he initially indicated that uh, uh, he can't assure a free and credible election, but later indicated that, yes, as a commission, they are ready to continue with this election. And when we went to uh, the repeat of the presidential election, we saw uh, violence in parts of the country, and uh, even uh, election was not uh, held in different uh, polling stations. And this is one of the arguments that they will be basing, that yes, uh, there were uh, violence in parts of the country that uh, election were not held. And uh, even uh, the chairman himself had already indicated that he cannot assure a free and credible election. But on the other hand, we know that I EBC will come out and uh, defend itself and say, yes, as the chairman, maybe he had indicated that, but as a commission and as an institution, they were ready to conduct this election. And uh, they will try and come out and say that, uh, yes, uh, they tried to uh, take those uh, ballot papers and uh, the, the, uh, the election materials to those polling stations. But due to the violence that uh, was uh, experienced in those uh, parts of the country, it was impossible to hold uh, a, an election there. And it, these are some of the legal issues that, uh, if at all, any, any Kenyan or any po a political party or any, any institution will feel free to go to uh, the Supreme Court, these are some of the issues that they will be basing on. And of course, uh, we'll see, on the other hand, uh, uh, the IBC lawyers also coming out and saying, yes, as an institution, we tried our level best to ensure that uh, elections are held or the, the 